Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profit Accessions team. I am Sanjay. Now from this video session guys, we are going to create a new exciting playlist called WordPress Gutten Bug Tutorial for Beginners. This is our first part. So inside this very first part guys, actually we need to discuss about its introduction, means introduction about WordPress Gutten Bug and the second that is, we are going to compare with the old version editor. As we know that inside WordPress that is from the version that is 5.x we have now newly created a WordPress editor. This is totally different from the old editors what we have inside last version of WordPress that is 4.9. After 5.x means 5.1, 5.2, 5.3 and so on actually we have now our block editor. So this is known as WordPress Gutenberg. So let's discuss about in deep details and we will see inside both the setup like 4.9 and 5.3 that is what is the difference between these editors. So here we have a simple statements for the theoretical concept that is in WordPress 5.x, x stands for 1, 2, 3, something like that. The classic content editor was replaced with a brand new block editor known as Gutenberg. Inside Gutenberg, we will see that each section is a block. Now, WordPress block editor is totally new and different way of creating content in WordPress. We will understand about these lines in very detail if we compare both the setups. Back to Chrome browser. Now here's the setup called a uh, means WordPress setup. I have made something and the version is 5.3.2. As we can see inside this footer section, this is the latest version of WordPress. And here another setup we have called 4.9. If I again go to its footer and here we have a message to get actually the latest version that is 5.3.2 because it's a old version that is 4.9. If we want to download and install any WordPress setup either it is old or latest then we need to go inside this link called wordpress.org download slash releases. Now from this link actually we had downloaded about its latest version as well as about the old version that is 4.9.13. Here from this link actually I have downloaded before making this video and set up in my local system. Let's see about inside the old version what existing editor we have. So if we go inside this post section, now let's create a post. Now inside this add create post means add new post the fields we have a post title and here is the content editor means a description box here inside this editor actually we have to pass our post detail. Now this is an editor inside this editor the buttons are similar like a uh, choose a font family like bold italic bulleted list and so on it's something appears like a Microsoft Word document. If we write some dummy content, let's say that this is old version code editor. Now, if we want to make any format inside this, simply we need to select, click on this B tag, it will bold this. If I click on this or select this text, click on I, it will make italic. So, it is something like that we are doing Google Microsoft Word document. This is the old version code editor. If you want to insert any image, if you want to do anything, then we need to click means we need to click on the icons or the buttons provided by this code editor. Now let's say that if we want to create any links of this description, so simply let's say we are going to write a anchor tag, anchor tag text. So this is click here, and if you want to make link, then select. Click on this insert slash edit link and here we need to pass the link. So if I copy this link, go here, pasting it here and if we click on the apply button, click on that. Now simply we have applied our means anchor tag or anchor text anchor link inside this text. So go here, 
Now let's say that this is sample post. Click on publish. Go inside all post. And if we see, if we click on this and open into a new tab, go here. Now this is the simple statements, means this is in italic, this is bold, this is our post title, and here is the link that it actually we had provided inside this text called click here. Now also if we want to insert any images, then we can create by use add media. It will actually open add media model and we can select images and inside this post description box this is all about using our version that is 4.9.13 old version now this is our latest version that is 5.3.2 here now the content editor is now replaced with the block editor that block editor we we will call it as something WordPress Gutenberg. So click on posts, add new. Now inside add new, the Gutenberg is totally different means inside in means in point of look and feel it is totally different from our old editor. Now in the first step we need to pass our add title it means that is this is a required field which is taking our post title now here we have two panels called the left panel and the right panel this is all about our setting for the document and the blog this is known as settings panel this is all about our informative box to make any post this is not the editor actually applied for this post section. If you go for the pages, click on add new. Now here we have the same editor that is Gutenberg blockwise editor for the pages section. Means the editor is totally replaced with the brand new editor that is blockwise something WordPress Gutenberg. So let's create a post, go inside post, add new. And I'm going to pass, let's say, my post. And after that, after post title, it is by default provides a paragraph tag. So here, if I press tab, now go inside this, it is a paragraph tag. So let's say that if we copy the same content, what we have created with the old version, pasting it here, now as we can see that for this editor a separate toolbar is here now let's say that this is old version code editor and if we want to add any means any like image any link if we want to make any formatting with this then if we click on this plus icon let's see that if we want to insert like paragraph image gallery columns and so on like these are the blocks let's say common blocks formatting if you want to do any elements like layout elements so these are means made or developed in block wise block so these are the blocks as we can see like a paragraph block image block gallery block so these are the block icons so here if we need to perform any operation or let's say if we want to create a page, a post, if we add like paragraph and so on, so these are now differentiated into a blocks label. It means we have to choose our blocks and create that post and create our page. Either we can click on this plus link and this is on hover as we can see that add block. It means all the sections what we are finding inside this these are all blocks again if i click on this top label plus icon and here if you want to lay insert about gallery simple type gallery here if we want to insert let's say paragraph type paragraph here if we want to insert like image simple click on this if we insert about the media as well as image so here we need to type let's say media and text here and here we have a preview screen at the left as we can see 
so this is also providing the providing a will document guideline to use any blog to create either post or page here now this is old version code editor now let's say that again I'm going to copy this text that is click here pasting it here now we have to make a link so if I delete delete this click here and let's say click here and if we have to make make links so firstly copy the link go here select that is click here click on this sorry it's not select here click on this and here we to pass the URL and click on this apply button simply we have applied that now for the draft here we need to click for the preview here we need to click and for the publish here we need to click so publish so we are now publishing our post and let's click on this open link into a new tab and here is the post actually we are saying that is my post post title author metadata means author information and in the next we have called the description and the click here button now after comparing this old version editor as well as this is the means this is the new version editor and the old version editor we can say that the old version editor contains all the buttons as a toolbar icons and it is just similar to a WordPress means our Google Word document here we need to provide all the contents and by the help of these buttons actually we can apply and format but in our latest version all these icons are now converted into a blogs and here we can see all the blogs these blogs are not actually restricted about this limit this is here we have more options now inside this wordpress blockwise editor that is wordpress guttenberg here we have several like sections like most used common blocks formatting this is layout elements widgets and so on in the next videos of this playlist we will see that how can we create a single post by using some blocks and how can we do some block settings now this is very fast very first part of this playlist so inside this video we had seen about the comparison of old editor as well as new editor also we had seen that what is WordPress block editor that is WordPress Guttenberg so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day